Thanks for joining us again on Celebrating Act Two. Art, uh, we get together every week. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's okay, up? <laughs> yeah. So, when's the last time you lost an important document? Probably about five years ago, right before I was going to go to Europe, I lost my um, uh, visa. Uh, what do you call it? Visa passport. Europe. Passport. Oh yeah, that, that sucks. Blew the whole trip. Yeah. Yeah, uh, especially since uh, it uh, probably when you lost it, it took months to get a new one. <laughs> it did. It did. Yeah. Well, and passport, why, what happened to you? So um, a funny thing happened to me on my way to filling out my tax returns. Uh, last about two weeks ago, I was at a uh, getting a, a, an annual eye exam uh, for the first time in three years. So they had to take all my information again. I gave my driver's license and my uh, social security and my Medicare and all that stuff. And uh, they gave it back to me. And um, uh, then on Friday, that was like on Thursday, on Friday, I was doing my taxes. And I was doing one of those uh, electronic. So they need your um, uh, driver's license number. And I sort of knew what it was offhand, but I took it out anyway and I put it down. I put it in and got Linda's and I put hers in and gave hers back because she still has hers. Okay. And I didn't think anything about it until last Thursday when I was uh, looking at my wallet. And which is where I keep my driver's license, and it wasn't there. So the first, and I happened to be driving around at the time, so I called um, uh, the doctors that I had been to and asked them if they found it there. But then, of course, I realized that a day after that, I had actually used it at home, and so I, you know, tore apart my desk and I looked everywhere. So either what happened? So I did an electronic for federal, and I did uh, paper for state. And it, what happened was I either put it in the, the thing and the state now has a, a copy of my driver's license uh, with, the, with the file that I returned, or I did a lot of cleaning up. I had all my papers. I threw out a lot of stuff. Probably what happened is I threw it out. So you, you think maybe you mailed it to the IRS? Either that, said. not to the or IRS, to, the to, to, to the California people. This sounds, this sounds like a common problem for old people, I have to tell you. <laughs> Well, yeah, I bet that there are very few people who think they've mailed a driver's license into the tax authorities. But anyway. Well, uh, it'll be in good hands if you right. did. Yeah. So, not that, well, not that so, they'll ever return it. So after having gone through all my desks 12 times from Sunday, uh, all my files, everything, uh, uh, had Linda check her bag. Maybe I gave both of them back to her. Anyway, missing. So... <sighs> It's probably pretty annoying to do that. Plus, I had the California driver's license that had all the paperwork on it so that I can get on a plane, you know, that had the, right. the golden bear on so on and so forth. So anyway, I went online and they said, well, to replace a lost license, you have to come in, but you can fill out the form here. And you know what? You can even get online at the local DMV to go in and show your stuff and get your reservation at home. So I did that. And a half hour later, I was the DMV, and I still had about a half hour to go. And I filled out all the paperwork. And I waited there for about an hour. But literally within 90 minutes of me getting a place online, and it was counting down at the time. I think it was like yeah. G216. When I got there, it was G175. Okay. And there was a, a no appointment line. And then they said, well, you have to fill out the paperwork, which I didn't do at home because I didn't want to lose my spot. So they had a, a, a kiosk there and I put all the stuff in. And when I got up to the booth, uh, the Roberta, remember Roberta, it was booth number one, they have about 18 windows, uh, said, uh, to quote, literally 90 minutes after I got my number at home, this is California, made an appointment, and got down there, I was walking out with a temporary license, and within a week or two, they'll send it to me. Uh, yes. And now, California, anybody, California DMV has not had the best reputation for about the last eight or nine years, but they've come a long way. And so 
from a from something that was really annoying and you figured I, I brought down all sorts of paperwork and everything else. Yeah. Actually really didn't need it because I had everything on file. They even had my picture on file that they were gonna use to uh recreate sure. the license. Yeah. And then, but I did find out that uh, people of a certain age, which would be you and I in California, uh, you renew your license for three years, but then you, every time you go in, you have to take a new written test and an eye test, not a, not a driving test, but a written test and an eye test. So I have to come, but they also very helpful, Roberta, very helpful. She said, yeah. but now you can actually take the written test online. And they here's where it is. They haven't advertised that much. So that's great. So, you know, I guess uh, I know that you, you misplaced or lost a passport. OK, oh, yeah. and that's that takes forever. But DMV, it was there. Uh, I remember once uh, I needed a copy of a birth certificate from back from New York in Brooklyn and uh, actually got that within uh, about a week and a half. Really? By oh. Doing it online. That was about 10 or 12 years ago, I needed, yeah. they said uh, there was probably other things I could do. But in yeah. any event, uh, I was able to get that. So it turns out that getting a lot of this stuff, probably the passport, would be more difficult because I know it takes time. Well, look, there's a, there's a lesson here for us old folks. <laughs> don't, beyond, lose, don't, don't pay your taxes. Yeah, beyond, <laughs> don't lose any of your documents. Yeah. Um, I, I think that the lesson is the DMV, at least here in California. My experiences in the last 10 years with the DMV have been wonderful. Yeah. Um, you can make an appointment, you get in quickly, the people know what they're doing. They they don't shuffle you from window to window a lot. Uh, they get it done, and uh, and they're all very knowledgeable and helpful. They're all very friendly, not like the old DMV, right. where, you know, they just, sorry, time to go to lunch, boom, you know. Yep. It, it, it's been great. So. Number one is, I think the bureaucracy has gotten better everywhere. Even getting my passport a second time wasn't that bad. It was just more time consuming because it's the federal government. You got to send it to, I don't know. Also, it was also before the pandemic, right? Yeah. Yes, yeah. it was. Um, but anyway, it, so the lesson is don't be afraid. Right. Don't be afraid of filling out the forms, getting the new documents. And I think there's a lot of these uh, organizations that have um, kind of special services for seniors, you know, mm. click this button or go to this line. And if you're a senior, we'll help you get through with the, the process faster. So I, I think for all of us, we shouldn't be afraid. And it, quite frankly, the older you get, the more you're going to lose. <laughs> you lose stuff. I don't know. What well, I actually, that's the first time for me in almost uh, three quarters of a century. Really? So uh, not so bad. But, you know, no, bad, and I, people get... They, they lose their wallet. Maybe they got a pickpocket. Then you have to get dozens and dozens of things at once. But yeah. really, the like you say, John, the answer is don't lose your cool. Just one by one, methodically go down the line. Yeah. And probably in most cases, there's going to be banks will help you on the phone to get a new credit card. Yeah. Stop the old one, get a new one. Yeah. Don't and, worry and about do, it. Do ask if there's a special senior service to help you. You know, mm. You never know. When they have that. Or call John and me and we'll walk you through it. Sure. We'll we'll be your ombudsman. Anyway, that's my that's my story uh, of the week. Uh, well, it's a good story. It's a good story. Thank you for sharing. My pleasure. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.